I've been learning about the spider life cycle. Honey spiders lay her eggs. She covers them with silk to make an egg sac. Baby spiders are called spiderlings. When they grow up, they bloom away to their new home. What experiments we did we do? Can you remember the two experiments we did? Oh yes, <laughs> that that one was really funny. So we went to um, my daddy's bathroom and we got a toilet roll and we put it out the window, you know, rolled it out, and then it snapped and went onto the roof, and then we got, and then we found a tiny bit on the floor, but then we saw it on the um, roof, and then we got a bit of that back, then we could see it was rolling off, and we went outside to get it, but then it's already rolled off, and it was behind the car. That was so funny. Oh, so we got a balloon, blew it up, and we rubbed it on our hairs, and then it was sticky. And then to make it stick up. So why did we do those two experiments, Caitlin? Because we want to uh, bloom. Yeah, so we're showing how blooming works. Yeah, so the spider gets a tiny bit of silk in the air, then the wind catches it and electricity, and it blows them and it blows them away to a di to their new home. Do you think it's amazing that the spider uses? electricity or electromagnetism like a magnet yeah it is amazing because the, ma the bits of silk pull away from each other like a magnet that you know doesn't stick together that's yeah. pulling away you know that's like right. this repels repels and that's because the only the spiders can only bloom because up in the sky the clouds become like a giant magnet and they pull electricity kind of, um, and that's when the spiders can release their silk. Where are you the first Ready? time? Where are you? <laughs> yeah. Nice and slowly, and then just lift it up, right up high, so it gets your finger. Go on. <laughs> 